When considering a switch to an electric vehicle, charging speed becomes as critical a factor as charger availability. The time it takes to charge can significantly impact your daily routine as an EV owner or site operator. DC fast charging is the quickest way to charge an electric vehicle, and it plays an essential role in both public and private EV charging infrastructure. We're going to discuss what DC fast charging is and the impact it has to the electrical infrastructure, as well as two use cases, including fleet and public charging. There has been a lot of confusion with terminology when it comes to vehicle charging. For the purpose of this video, we're going to refer to all DC charging as DC fast charging. Unlike level two AC, which is limited by the vehicle onboard charger, DC fast charging sends energy directly to the battery. Since the charging is not limited by the rating of the onboard charger, this allows significantly faster charge rates, thus greatly reducing overall charge time. DC fast charging has a different charge profile than AC charging. AC charging will continue to charge the battery at a constant rate until nearly 100% battery capacity. With DC fast charging, the charge rate will be fastest up until the battery reaches 75 to 80% capacity, and then it will decline until it reaches 100%. For this reason, most vehicles are set to charge to 80% capacity as there are diminishing returns when charging any further. The DC fast charger must be able to match the voltage level of the vehicle. Today's vehicles have battery topologies which range from 400 to 800 volts DC, and each vehicle will have a maximum current rating at which it can charge, which translates to a maximum power rating. For example, a 150 kilowatt DC fast charger may be limited to 300 amps due to the cable, connector, or the vehicle. And therefore, at 400 volts, the maximum power rating would be 120 kilowatts. However, an 800 volt vehicle with the same current limitation can pull the full 150 kilowatts. Let's explore the essential infrastructure requirements for DC fast charging, which play a crucial role in enabling rapid charging for electric vehicles. The main difference between AC charging and DC fast charging is that AC charging happens at 208 volts or 240 volts AC single phase. While DC fast chargers typically are connected to 480 volt three phase power. Generally, DC fast chargers are also much higher capacity, which means the amount of energy they require is going to be far greater than AC chargers, which is one of the reasons for the higher service voltage. Let's look at two chargers as an example. An AC charger rated at 19.2 kilowatts will require a 208 or 240 volt two pole 100 amp breaker, while a 150 kilowatt DC fast charger will require a 480 volt three pole 250 amp breaker. 208 volts is very common in commercial, large residential, as well as industrial settings. 240 volts is typically limited to residential. It is important to understand that not all locations will have three-phase 480 volts as a utility may not provide power at that rating. When providing power to DC fast chargers, power typically is taken from the main switchboard or a new dedicated utility source. Where 480 volts is not available, a step-up transformer to raise that voltage from 208 volts to 480 volts would be required. Demand on the system is also much larger for DC fast chargers. If the site is looking to add four 150 kilowatt chargers, there must be up to 800 amps of power available to feed those four chargers. As a comparison, the same amount of power would be able to support 36 of the 19.2 kilowatt AC chargers. While planning for the addition of DC fast chargers, a power study may be required to determine if there's adequate service. If there isn't adequate service, then the utility would have to add a larger transformer to support the loads. There are many reasons to choose DC fast charging for fleet applications. 
The first reason, which is probably the greatest, is that fleet vehicles typically have large batteries and it's not possible to charge them fast enough using AC chargers. For example, a large van connected to a 19.2 kilowatt AC charger may take up to 10 hours to reach capacity. On the other hand, a 50 kilowatt DC fast charger could charge that same vehicle in about five hours. Or with a 150 kilowatt charger, they could be ready to leave in 90 minutes. Minimizing the dwell time or the time the vehicle is charging between routes allows for better utilization of the asset, thus increasing profitability. A class six or eight vehicle that is offloading material may only have 30 minutes to an hour to recharge. So utilizing a 150 kilowatt or higher rated DC fast charger may be required. We will find that fleets may have a mix of lower and higher rated DC fast chargers to satisfy not only the vehicles that can support a longer dwell time, but also the vehicles which need to recharge quickly and get back on the road. For locations looking to add the benefits of DC fast chargers onto a system with existing AC chargers, consideration should be given to capacity constraints that may exist on the electrical system. For example, Converting 20% of the AC chargers may double the overall demand requirements of the system. For facilities that may not be able to support a full charger build-out, load management can be utilized to control which vehicles need to be charged first and to throttle or restrict charging until critical vehicles are charged. Also, it is not uncommon to think that some vehicles will be privately owned and the site may require payment to connect to those chargers. For this reason, charger network management software can be deployed for monetization, access control, as well as the above mentioned load management. Placing DC fast chargers in public settings is going to be the key to adoption of electric vehicles. However, DC fast chargers do not need to be in all public locations. Many times an AC charger is fine Think workplace or parking garages. Where DC fast chargers become a need is when the driver is looking for a quick charge to complete a long journey. In this case, since a charge may take up to 30 minutes or more, it is important to locate these stations near major roadways as well as somewhere where the driver can spend some time, like shopping plaza or a restaurant. The National Electric Vehicle Infrastructure Bill, or NEVI, is requiring a minimum of 600 kilowatts of DC fast charging every 50 miles along major roadways within one mile of an exit. We're seeing these charging stations being put in at service plazas, large gas stations with restaurants, and at big box stores near freeway exits. These types of chargers will require a charging network management software platform to facilitate payment and access to the DC fast charger. On a recent trip, I stopped to look at a group of DC fast chargers installed along the interstate. There were 10 chargers, all rated at 150 kilowatts, fed from a single 750 kVA transformer. Load management was used to allow maximum charging of individual chargers and throttling when multiple chargers were used at the same time. This is a good example of utilizing control to optimize the use of DC fast charging within the limitations of the electrical infrastructure. Other options for relieving electrical capacity issues include battery storage, which we'll cover in another video. DC fast charging is a requirement for widespread EV adoption. It will help to relieve range anxiety for personal vehicles on long distance trips. It provides an optimized solution to minimize dwell time for scalable conversion to EVs like buses, delivery vehicles, and other fleet applications. If you'd like to learn more about DC fast charging and would like to see some of this equipment in action, contact us or your local Eaton representative to schedule a visit to one of our Power Systems Experience Centers today.